Uh, hey guys. Alright, so I'm using the webcam, which is the crappier cam, just for a brief moment because I didn't want to, as you can see, I'm relaxed right now. And I didn't really want to ruin my relaxation, uh, not because I'm a fat, lazy person, but because I'm a fat, lazy stoner. So. I don't want to get him get my camera, uh, the good camera, so I just open up the lid of the laptop, hit the webcam. Anyway, I'm going way too much into detail on why I'm fucking using the laptop webcam. Anyway, I got a confession to make. Uh, in my 31 years, I consider myself, uh, a, a cinephile. Maybe not to the extremes of a lot of the people that I see on the boards that I frequent in a lot of the, the movie sites that I go to. Um, but I, I've seen a lot of movies, and I own a lot of, of fucking movies, and I could jaw about movies to no fucking end with anybody. Uh, in a, I, I just love fucking watching movies. That's pretty much all I do want to do. But there are a list of uh, movies that I haven't seen in my 31 years that would probably blow a lot of people's minds. And one of them I've actually led some people to believe that I have seen it and I actually haven't seen it. And I'm watching it right now. And I have to, that's why I turned the, the, the camera on because it's, it's, it's fucking blowing my mind. I've never seen Apocalypse Now, okay? Let's get it out on the record. I've never seen Apocalypse Now. So, on January 2nd of 2012, I decide I'm going to finally watch Apocalypse Now. I've got it on Blu-ray. I, I, I bought it. I'm like, to hell with it. I'm going to, I, 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 let's buy it. Let's get it over with. And it's Francis Ford Coppola. So I'm going to love it. You know, I, I, you can't really go wrong. The guy doesn't make a lot of movies and he doesn't make movies that he, that he's not sure aren't going to be good. And I'm not going to say anything about Godfather 3 in there. But anyway, so uh, I start watching it and it, it just occurs to me, like, how far in am I right now? An hour and four, 38, an hour and 38 minutes in. And it just now occurs to me, I have no idea what is going on in this movie like i know the basic plot of the film and what what martin sheen's doing where you know he's got to go get marlon brando or whatever and the government blah 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 blah, blah vietnam but i am so i am so centered right now that I, i'm just zoned out watching the film and every scene and like how the, the songs are just the background music is just softly kind of like floating above the dialogue and it's just this is all in my my mind, in my head, mind you, not like the actual film. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I got to watch this movie straight to to, to I, see if there's like a completely different experience because it feels like I'm literally living a dream right now watching this movie, it, it just in tune with it. It feels like not so much. I mean, obviously some of the scenes are like nightmarish, but it's like oh my god, I feel like I'm in a dream. Like, and like it, as it's happening, it's just insane. And I'm probably sounding like a fucking nutbag right now, but like. I, I just, I had to record my response to this, my reaction as it's happening fresh because, yes, it's a, a 31 year old should never say, who claims to love movies should never say, <clears throat> I've never seen the uh, apocalypse now. It's absurd. But the fact that I'm, I'm making the effort to see it and choosing to see it this way, is the most memorable way I'll have because this is like the this is one of the best movie experiences I've ever had in my life because it doesn't feel like I'm watching one of the what most what some what a lot of people have heralded as one of the best films in American cinema, um, but I'm I'm experiencing it on a level where it feels like I'm like creating it as it's happening, like a dream, like it's just fucking insane to me. This movie is. It's just utterly insane, and this probably makes no sense to anybody but me. I'm telling you, just <laughs> do what you have to do to follow my line of logic. It, it's just brilliant, man. And I know everyone's probably like, yeah, we fucking know. We've seen Apocalypse now. It is brilliant. I'm telling you. Get one with the Earth 
and watch Apocalypse Now, and you will know what I'm talking about. And you, I'm t this is like, I'm glad I did it this way. This is the, the way to see the film uh, the first time. It, because it's just so wonderful and beautiful and, and just so fucked up. And, uh, oh my god, like, I'll, ne I'll, I'll never... <clears throat> this movie after tonight will never be as good as it is for me right now. And I, I just had to get that uh, a response is because, I don't know, now that I'm starting to use this technology that I have at my disposal, I don't want to live a life of emptiness. Like I, I want to create visual, lasting memories uh, of shit that, that I'm thinking or feeling as it's going on. And that's what it, this is going to be, I think. That's what the YouTube, my YouTube channel should be, just my visual, my life just happening as it goes along and, and, and creating these visual memories and you know if I choose to, to have a family like that's what I can leave behind is these moments where I'm fucked up and watching Apocalypse Now for the first time on a level that nobody's ever seen it because they're not seeing it through the eyes that they're seeing it like I'm seeing it right now and you know you have these moments where you get to see your loved ones in, in, in this this fashion that we never really talked about like like you know you never get to see your parents it's Kevin I'm now recording Kevin okay I'm talking way too much I gotta get back to the movie anyway I had to record this for sure it probably won't go up till tomorrow because I want to get back to the movie but okay peace and whatever whatever okay bye bye